those of you who don't know who I am, my name's Emily McCarthy and I am, what do I do? I'm an acrobat from Leeds and today I have a very, very exciting friend and guest with me, a fellow, so I'm doing that again. I've it up, for fuck's sake mate. At least don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a very exciting vlog today. I'm with a good friend of mine, Mr. Alexei Goloborokko. Did I say that right? <laughs> here he is, and he is. This guy right here is known as the most flexible man in the world. Actually, probably the, the most flexible human in the world, right? Um. The king of contortion is in the building, so he's going to take me through his routine. We're going to try some stuff, and he's going to give you guys a little show, a little demonstration of what he does in Cirque du Soleil Lucia. Stay tuned, it's going to be awesome. Let's go work. So, are we going Oh yeah, simple flat contortion. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. Then here. Right. So it's first part. That's the first part. The first part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the second part, contortion for peace, like. <laughs> I thought I was flexible until this moment and now I just feel ashamed. Oh my god. You know what, I said I was scared before, now I'm absolutely terrified. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna start from the warm up. Usually, for me, if I'm warming up for myself for like performance, regular training, I'd probably take about 15 20 minutes just getting my body moving before I start anything. Obviously, Alexi's an extreme contortionist, so his style of warm up, I'm guessing, is way more intense than mine. But he's gonna take me through the warm up now. Wish me luck. <laughs> you wanna switch it back? Because we can then. would have one flexible side and one side that well usually say good and bad but let's just say a really good one and a okay one but Alexi said that his good leg depends on the day some days it's his left some days it's his right for me I'm way more flexible on my left side than my right side when I feel that one side is better than the other one I work more on the bad side and I work twice more and then sides switches and then the other leg becomes better and I work on the other leg more so and goes up and down I love how he's just come a training in jeans as well. Yes, have you seen this? Right, my turn. Keep something like this. Something here. From there. And then this leg goes up and you switch. Yeah, okay, go for it. Oh my god! Let's go down first still. That was great. Let's do the kettlebell one. Just then we'll start the proper stuff. Crasso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we go up. <laughs> And go down. Keeping the head forward. Yeah. My shoulders don't allow it. Oh. Try not to do <laughs> So how long would you say that you'd do this walk before being like ready to go on stage to do your act? 20 minutes, 20, 30, 40 minutes. If I feel stiff, I take more time. How often do you feel stiff? That's what she said. <laughs> oh I won't answer that. I do actually feel, I'm not gonna lie, compared to my warm up, I do feel way warmer now than I ever do. So I'm gonna steal some of those. Give them a try, let me know how you feel. <laughs> no. Okay, let's do some workout. Okay. Oh, wait, what? You should like do this one minute. 
Yeah. yeah. Before every show? No. no. I do it maybe three times per week. Oh, I can't. Do you know what, Alexis? I can't even pull from here. I'm trying not to arch in my lower back. I'm trying to engage my upper back and middle back. So I go. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes I can go between legs as well. Since working on Crystal and working on the ice every day, my flexibility got a little bit worse because it's so hard when you're in the freezing cold to oh, yeah. stretch. So is that something that like for you, it has to be warm for you to be able to... Yeah, it should be warm. When it's cold, it's so uncomfortable. Yeah, it's, definitely. It's like the worst thing. See, this is just crazy how I watch you do it and I think I can do that. And then I try <laughs> to do it and I've got no chance. But what do you do before to bring your legs up then? I feel like I need to rock to do that. I can do a chest stand, but I have to go. Actually, when you do this, your muscles aren't working. You need to engage your glute, your lower back, and bring your legs over the head. This is what's so impressive as well, like, you'd think that he's just really flexible, but he's actually super, super strong as well. Which most people think when you're super flexible, you can't be strong as well, but this guy is prime example that you can be both. <laughs> so this is the idea. If you get too flexible and you don't have strength to control it, what was the goal? Yeah. We want to show our flexibility, and to show it, we must control it. My concept is to find the balance between flexibility and strength. On the other hand, if I get too strong, I start losing flexibility. So it's always like a balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen you perform your act a couple of times now. And I must say, watching him do it on a video or seeing a picture literally doesn't do it justice. The transitions and how he gets into it is just absolutely mesmerizing. Do you do like one arm handstands and things as well? Mm -hmm. Can you show us? Sure. Yeah? Yes. Okay, let's see that. Here we go. Maladiets. By the way, Maladiets means well done in Russian. I just wanted to show off that I can speak a bit of Russian. Right, I'll do that then. So where's this leg going, Alexi? Oh, uh, it goes... <laughs> so the right leg goes behind... Behind your head. Shoulder. So do you go to a Mexican first? It's so confusing. So So both legs go to one side, yep. the further leg goes up, and then, oops, down. Shall I do chest stand? Chest stand, okay, this one. <laughs> I did something where you grabbed this leg or something. Ta-da! <laughs> oh wait, how do we get into that? Uh, you can, you can, where it goes. So it goes here, and then. <laughs> right? Uh, yes, looks right. I'm doing something. And then this leg yeah. goes under. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like my patella's gonna pop off. Here. And now this. A twist, one side. Inhale. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's not true, it's not painful. Inhale. It's really comfortable, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe this side's gonna be better. See, I never do twisting. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> Try to relax. Okay, I'm relaxed. Try to breathe not with your chest, but yeah. with your belly. Okay, breathe with your belly. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking crazy. Wow, Alexi, that's insane. That's when did you realize that you had these like abilities? 
that you were like, or oh, were you never flexible and then you had to start, or was it natural? So I started when I was four years old. Yeah. I saw a commercial of circus, traditional circus. Yeah. I asked my parents to take me to a circus show to watch it, and I fell in love. I wanted to be there, and it didn't matter what discipline I would do. It could be anything, juggling, air, contortion, didn't matter. And when I came to the studio, my coach said, let's try this stuff, juggling. Oh so my sad. god, I can't imagine you juggling. <laughs> no, I can I it's very bad at it. She was like, okay, let's try to develop this discipline because comparing to other kids, you're more flexible. And that's how it started. Of course, it was pretty weird at that time doing contortion because when you stretch, you feel discomfort and you have to overcome this discomfort to yeah. reach the result. And at that point, I was like surprised. What's going on? Why it's so uncomfortable? Why I have to overcome these, all these things? And when I started reaching results, I was like, oh, it's nice. It pays off. Yeah. I want to do this. And I just kept doing this for all my life, already 23 years. Wow. See, I started gymnastics when I was six, but I did artistic gymnastics first, and I didn't actually start stretching until I was 13. So that's when I started acrobatic gymnastics, and then my coach was stretching me. Obviously, it's helped so much when you have someone there to help you. It's very important to find proper position when you're stretching. Yeah. Because I know there is a problem in sports. They try to stretch, and they don't maintain the correct position. So, for example, a lot of people Sitting in the split like With this. With the hip out, yeah. yeah. And it's pretty bad. I need to move it in and keep the square between the shoulders and keep it. Okay, so can you break my split position? Yeah, pretty good. Can you bend oh, this it's pretty good, yeah. Good. Alexi's going to show us a little bit now of his acts that he does in Cirque du Soleil Lucia. So you guys get a little sneak preview. Also, the show is going to be premiering at the Royal Albert Hall in London. It's in January, I can't remember the date. Alexi will tell us in a minute. So if you're in London or in the UK, you should definitely go check it out. That show is absolutely fantastic. Tickets are on sale now. I'll put a link in the description. <laughs> know the answer to this but they don't so I'm an alibrija. Alibrija it's a mix of different animals all these different animals in one creature so it's a swan it's a jaguar it's a snake and many many other do you want to tell them a little bit what Lucy is about Lucy is about Mexican culture it represents light and water and the name consists of two parts Lu is yeah water and light and we have a waterfall from the ceiling to stage with beautiful pictures. Come see Luzia <laughs> about Mexican culture. Enjoy it and you will love it. Family show. Fun. <laughs> well, thank you. Amazing. Right guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much Alexi for coming and shooting with us today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm gonna link Instagram page for Alexi. Make sure you give him a follow and go watch Cirque du Soleil Luzia at the Royal Albert Hall in January. Get your tickets now. And if I didn't see you in the last vlog, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! You can do a handstand on my knees while I'm in this position. So I'll be... Okay.